through the conversation you had with God at the finish line? I mean, he said he's most likely not doing the 1500, and so uh, that I'm, I'm the next in line, so i got got to get an A standard first, so it's, it's a little bittersweet, but uh, once I get that A standard, I'll be a bit more comfortable to, to know that I'm going to be in the career. When, when he said that, what did you feel? It was joy, <laughs> frustration, yeah. excitement, like, it was all a plethora of emotions. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's, 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 he's a great guy. No, I came up here and I was like, I was done. I was just trying to get through the mix and all and just get out of here. Like Russell did yeah, that two days ago. And then some guys were like, Andrew, Andrew, we're not going to come talk to Rod, you're a great guy. I don't want to talk right now. He's out on the track. Yeah, yeah. Did you dive in at the first one? Yeah, honestly, it was not something I normally do, but it just like it flashed in my head. I was like, Christian did it in the work. I was like, Christian Smith, I just laid out and kind of got bummed up. It didn't work for me, but. Next time I'm talking to Christian, I'm getting the A speed. I'm pretty confident. I, I think I can, I, I know I can run 333. So uh, it's just a matter of finding a race. And we got all July to find this. You're going to Diamond League, right? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be too bad. Which ones do you know? No, not yet? Know. It's, it's, it's like loosely put together, so I'm not sure. Birmingham, Paris, Monaco? I mean, it's, it's, on, it's on the horizon for sure, but uh, I mean, I honestly, I don't know anything officially yet. Okay. Was there a part of you that said, I'm just, I'm not going to go back out there and I'm going to go somewhere else? A little bit, but uh, I'm not that much of a jerk. I can't, I can't do that, so. In Vermont, the nice guy. <laughs> what did you think he wanted to talk to you about? Oh, had me on the back, close to my right shoulder. <laughs> yeah, Bernard, you never know. He could, he could surprise you. So I thought he just went like, because we on our way out there, we were just talking. Like, I said, Bernard, you, you don't want me to talk to you? Because I thought you might want to like, focus up. I like, no, no, man, I like talking. You know? You're one of the few people who likes to hang out and talk with the race. He's like, oh, cool, all right, great, cool, let's talk. And so uh, when I finished. It's like, Bernard, why'd you say that? So it's going to get me. I don't want to talk right now. I got four. It's uh, short and down over there. Made the good news. Were you expecting that? I mean, I knew it was between Central and probably the God and myself. And that's kind of what I worked it out as. And I, I, when I saw Central at, at the NCAs, I was blown away. He looked so good. And I, I, it was no surprise to me, really. He, he just... He was going to be on this team, I just didn't know where. And so to win, he's, it's, it's something he should cherish for this moment for as long as possible, because he did it in fashion and run down. And then being the god, that's not easy. So mm -hmm. as you can see, you know, it's not easy. What did he say to you exactly? Yeah, right, exactly. What did he say to you exactly when he went back to say to you? He said he's most likely not running 1500, um, and not to get my hopes up and chasing those things. So that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. Okay, so I'm, I'm sure you've been played this several times, yeah. but, you know, I mean, talk about the last lap. Just run us through. I know you've done it probably 15 times already, but one more time. Just run us through it. Uh, we just, going that last lap, I was right where I wanted to be. I was kind of hovering on the outside with Centro, and I thought I was ready. I was ready to do a big finish. I was ready for that. But coming in with 300 out, I felt like I was getting up to my top speed and it's not not likely for me I, I don't like to be my top speed 300 out and so I thought let's squeeze it a little bit and test it and I started to pick it up and going to 200 I really started to push a bit and then I, I, I tried to go after the lead at 100 meters out and, and I just couldn't get that next gear I just couldn't find it and, and uh, you know I saw the guy I saw Centro I thought I could maybe pick it up on get up on them I just couldn't get there Leo kind of crept into my vision. I was just panicked. Oh, no, no, no. He's, and then Christian Smith. Oh, just died and played out. That's, that's good. Let's go. You look little, for me. You look a little sluggish at Prefontaine in the mm -hmm. 800. Um, have you done much sharpening and, and peaking since then for this? We've been, yeah, we've been trying. Yeah, we did a few good speed workouts, actually. Russell and I, you know, we had all the confidence in the world coming in here. Uh, and you know, Russell lucked out and didn't, had, uh, had not much to do then. And uh, I, uh, I just didn't have the, 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 the strength to finish up the last 50 meters, which is normally my forte. So you know, we got some work to do when we go, we go back to back to trying. Is that because of some time you had off a while back, or? I think so. Okay. I think we, we got injured a couple times and put us back about you know, a month or so, and okay. we just tried to tried to get as much out of the, the time we had, and uh, it just wasn't enough.
Yeah. Yeah. We need to wrap it up.